In this video, you'll see how you can troubleshoot common everyday development issues when deploying and running your apps on Cloud Run. You'll also see how cloud logging works, which is Google Cloud's log management system with storage, search, analysis, and monitoring support. Cloud Run automatically sends logs to cloud logging. As an application developer, the data you send to standard out on Cloud Run automatically goes to cloud logging. There are no client libraries required for that. And you'll see how you can use the Cloud Console in Cloud Run to view logs that are already filtered just for that service. In this video, you'll see how to troubleshoot three common types of errors. The container image fails to build, the wrong port is specified, causing the revision not to be healthy, and there's a crash in production. Here is my Go app that just returns Hello World on the root route. I previously deployed the app, so when I visit the website, I see Hello World. Now I'll introduce an error that will cause the container to fail to build. I will attempt to print out to standard out a variable that is undefined. Now I can run the gcloud run deploy command, and I'll deploy from source, and this will cause the container to fail to build because you cannot have an undefined variable in Golang. And we see here that the build failed. Let's check out the error message in the logs in Cloud Build. And here we see undefined message. For the next error, let's see what happens when the wrong port is specified, causing the revision to be unable to serve traffic. I'll fix the previous error by commenting it out Now I'll change the part to um, hard coded to 8085. I'll deploy from source again, but I will not change Cloud Run's default, which is sending traffic to port 8080. This means Cloud Run will still send requests to port 8080, although the app is expecting those requests on port 8085. While creating a revision, Cloud Run starts one container instance and pings the port to see if it's ready to receive requests. That's called a startup probe. And when it is ready, Cloud Run will automatically route traffic to that revision. Here we can see revision is not ready and cannot serve traffic. The user provided container failed to start and listen on the port defined by the port equals 8080 environment variable. Recall that I hard coded the port number to 8085. Opening this link will take you to cloud logging where you can see a little bit more information about the error. Now we can see the error also in Cloud Run in the Cloud Console. So if you go to logs within the Cloud Console for Cloud Run for that particular service, you will see logs that are already filtered just for this service. Be aware that getting this error can take four minutes because that is the default startup probe timeout configuration. You can modify this configuration as well. I'm gonna go back to my code and change the port number so that it is using the environment variable from Cloud Run. So my app will listen on port 8080. Let's talk about errors that happen in production. I'm going to deliberately throw an unhandled exception in a new route called crash. In Golang speak, we are causing the application to panic. I'll now deploy this to Cloud Run. 
I'll use the gcloud run deploy command. And I will deploy from source, so that is the current directory. And I will use region number 40, which is the closest one to me, US West 2. Now that my app is deployed, I can visit it and see Hello World on the root route. And when I go to the crash route, I see service unavailable. Back in the cloud console for cloud run, I can go to logs and see the 503 error. And I can see the print statement to standard out. And lastly, I can see the stack trace for the panic. To recap, you saw three types of common errors that occur during development and in production. You saw how you can review logs provided by cloud logging to debug these issues, all without the need of specialized logging libraries. To learn more about all the features that cloud logging has to offer, please check out the documentation for cloud logging. Thank you for watching this video.